What is the chemistry like for two people who have their Mars conjunct ascendant in synastry? Is this an easy aspect to have between two people? How will the Mars person view this relationship? Stay tuned as we answer these questions and more about seeing what happens when the Mars conjuncts the ascendant in the synastry chart. energies play out when we find this aspect in a synastry chart? Well, let's look at the energies that we have in this aspect. Up first, we have someone's ascendant. Our ascendant represents our personality. It is how we come off to people. It is in the first house, so it can represent things like our body and how we look, and it can be how others perceive us in the world. And then we have the energy of Mars at play with someone. Mars represents the warrior within us. It is how we go about getting the things that we want in life and it can represent aggression. Now, synastry in astrology is a chart where we can look at the energies that both parties bring to the relationship. We can use aspects to see how connections may play out. So what happens when you have someone's planet of getting what they want conjuncting someone's personality? Well, you get a stimulating connection. I say that because this relationship can manifest by being emotionally stimulating, intellectually stimulating, sexually stimulating, energetically stimulating, even spiritually stimulating. There is something that just can't help but be stimulating in this relationship to one or both of the partners. I have never dated anyone that I have this aspect with, but I have had two different men that tried to date me that I did have this aspect with, and I will share how it manifested for me later in the video. But first, let's go over the general energies that you may see when these two energies come into contact. So more often than not, the Mars person will be attracted to the Ascendant person. The Ascendant person could be their ideal or dream person, the person that they envisioned, especially if the masculine energy in the relationship is the Mars and the feminine energy is the Ascendant. The Mars person can be really attracted to the way the Ascendant person looks or the way that the Ascendant person carries themselves. They can definitely fall in love with the personality of the Ascendant person. And this could lead the Mars person to believe that the two are highly compatible. The Mars person can even be quite turned on by the Ascendant person. It's like the Ascendant person can ignite this primal desire within the Mars person. This can turn into a passionate aspect if it's in certain signs. It can be quite the stimulating sexual relationship as well. The Ascendant person naturally expresses their self in a way that the Mars person is attuned to. So there can be some links in the bedroom with this placement. This relationship can also be intellectually stimulating. And that's because the ideas between these two don't always match up. And there's this potential to have two strong personalities at play here. So there could be tension, but it's also stimulating at the same time. This dynamic can also create a natural competitiveness if it's in one of the more direct Mars. The Ascendant person can also be attracted to the Mars person. There is a degree of some compatibility here. These two can motivate each other to complete things. These energies can bring energy into the relationship. I had this aspect with someone that I was talking to and he stayed on me to get my eye exam. 
<laughs> yes, he had Virgo in his chart, but seriously, if he didn't stay on me, I would have never made the appointment. So he did motivate me to keep my yearly checkups and I motivated him to write. He also wanted to write a book, but because he worked 40 hours a week, he felt like he never had time. And I helped encourage him to set time aside each week to write. The ascendant person does have the capability to let the Mars person feel seen. And it seems like someone understands the reasons why they act the way they do. And this can be extremely comforting to be accepted and to be seen for who you are. So like I said, I've never dated anyone with this aspect. So if you are watching this video and you are dating someone and you'll have this aspect, tell me how it is manifested. Has it been fast paced? I know, especially with fire signs, but in general with Mars, there's almost this impatient, you know, Mars wants what it wants and it wants it now. <laughs> is there a lot of spontaneity in your relationship? Let me know. I love finding out how it manifests in reality. So from my experience, I was always the ascendant person and the man was the Mars. I will say in both people that I talked to, they were both persistent. The first person had three planets in the sign of my ascendant and one of those planets was Mars. He was so attracted to me that he told me one time that he would drink my bath water. <laughs> Anyways, the reason that I could not date this man is because it was like he had tunnel vision, I swear. I told him things that I liked and I didn't like, and I would share with him clear boundaries that I had. And every time I met him in person, he did not listen to what I said. For example, he had all kinds of pets, one of which was a snake. And I told him before I even went to his house that I did not want that thing out. <laughs> and he basically told me, you know, he was like, it's a friendly snake. He won't harm you, blah, blah, blah. I got over there and this man tried getting that snake out. Oh, no. <laughs> Just one example of the many times that I told him boundaries and it's like he just steamed rolled over what I had said and I talked to my bestie about it because I was thinking like is he not paying attention is he listening is he doing this on purpose I mean to me it didn't feel like he did this maliciously it was just he was so excited so stimulated that I was actually there that he was like a kid in a candy store and he had to show me all of this really neat things that he had or something it's as though everything I told him went right out the window because he was so excited <laughs> which is cute, but also annoying when you aren't particularly fond of snakes. <laughs> the second person I talked to that I shared this aspect with was persistent, but he did this funny thing. So when I shared my boundaries with him, he was very accepting of them. And he said that he respected me. Yet, tell me why I always found him pushing those boundaries almost testing me to see if he could go beyond the boundary. But with both, I will say I did have some really great debates with him. Both men could talk about a wide variety of topics and they had opinions on things. Now, I do not always agree with both of them and I did have the capability to get them both riled up. <laughs> I think the Ascendant also just naturally has this personality to stimulate the Mars <laughs> in good ways and bad. This week, I have been doing synastry aspects, but if you want to study yourself, then I encourage you to go and watch my playlist that goes over natal aspects. Those videos are full of great information to help you get to know yourself. As always, my little Zodiac friends, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Mwah.